and a measure to put a playground in a local Albuquerque park is on the agenda for the board of the Bernalillo County Commissioners to vote on. And reporter Alyssa Munoz is here now with those details. Alyssa. Yeah, Shelly Ron, this story has many sides to it and some in the Netherwood Park neighborhood are for this playground, but others are not. Every four or five years we do get a, 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 you know, some new folks and, and who have kids and they said, why don't we have a playground? According to the president of the Netherwood Park Neighborhood Association, they say this past year after a senator brought the idea up to the Parks and Recreation Department to put a playground in the park, the conversation then started with a call. Oh, and we want to talk to you about putting in some playground equipment. Oh, okay, that's new. On January 20th, Parks and Recreation Department hosted a meeting with the neighborhood to get public comment on the idea. People were given the option to vote for, against, and ambiguously on the playground idea, and in the results, 85 people sent in a response. Some who live within the neighborhood, some who are outside of it or just near it. For those in the neighborhood, 70% supported the idea, 30% disagreed. A lot of people feel like there's plenty of room for creative play here. And there are areas that are, are sacred, you know, you can't do anything to the hill because kids sled down that in the winter. The association says this was never a set in stone plan, rather a discussion. The Parks and Rec sent out a letter saying they would not be moving forward with the playground until there was a better neighborhood consensus. However, there was $200,000 in this year's legislature capital budget for this specific park. Recently, the governor item line vetoed this money. This issue does keep coming up. Uh, not year after year, but you know, every five, six years. Yeah, and um, it's going to come up again. So if it's dead now for five or six years, it'll come up again. So it would be nice if we actually faced it instead of, as the old saying in politics, kicking the can down the road. While doing this interview with the association, we did run into the former lieutenant governor who lives in the neighborhood. She says in a decision like this, there needs to be a better process and more stakeholder involvement. Reporting in studio, I'm Melissa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. The county commissioners didn't end up voting on the resolution for the playground because one of the commissioners who sponsored it walked out.